Hey there, this is Mark with Mark's Astro Journey. This is the third part of a three-part series in which I am sharing my second floor observatory build. If you didn't see part one and part two, I encourage you to go back and watch those. In those videos, you can see the plans that I came up with, the initiation of the project, and the project progress along. And then in this video, I'm going to continue to show a few excerpts from the construction. I'm going to do a walkthrough inside the observatory, show the concrete pier from the first floor up to the second floor, and then show the hardware for the roll-off roof, as well as show some views from within the observatory. Of course, these will be during the daytime. In a future video, I'll kind of try to give an idea of what it looks like when you're doing a session at night. Then, of course, there's going to be some follow-up work after this, uh, this video. I have a sky shed pier, and I'm going to need to install that on top of the concrete pier, and I'll probably do a video of, um, you know, that it's not going to take a long time, but there are a few steps involved in that. So let's jump right back into this project and watch it progress. One thing that was challenging to capture in this build on camera was the, the actual construction of the floor and the walls inside for the second floor observatory. And the reason is these guys, they don't work on just one thing at a time. They'll have six guys there, one guy's cutting uh, the concrete floor, cutting those cracks in the floor, another guy's working on trim around the garage doors, another guy's moving stuff inside and outside the building, and other guys working on top. And so it's really hard to put a camera up close. And that's why I have these views that I have on my construction on the time lapse. Because if I had put my tripod inside the building somewhere, I don't see any way how it could have survived with all the movement and all the work. It would have constantly had to have been moved. So I realized that would have been great to capture that but I had to work and I had to set up my camera and leave my camera capturing and I couldn't be babysitting a camera all day. I still had to do my, you know, my day job. So anyways, I just want to explain some of this time while these guys are working outside, there's other guys who are also working inside building that room and the stairway and the floor and the walls. <laughs>
So the guy who built this pier for me, I asked him to connect the pier to the floor with rebar. So he drilled holes and put rebar there before he built the pier. And he went with normal concrete blocks instead of um, flue blocks. He said flue blocks tend to um, erode over time worse. And also he handpicked all the blocks. He said there's a lot of picking because when you go to the, the store to buy those blocks, a lot of them are messed up. Now he left a half inch gap. Um, between the framing where the pier goes up through the floor and the pier and I told him it could not touch and this is a, about vibrations right we don't want vibrations from the floor to transfer to the pier now Skyshed Pier provides a template it shows like the dimensions of the bolt pattern in the bottom of the pier so I took that and I made this plywood template and put the J-bolts in that. And that's what he said in top of the concrete pier. And so you can see the J-bolts here sticking up out of the top. That that uh, plywood was basically setting across the top of it after he finished. So here are a few pictures of the building from the outside. And here are a few pictures from the inside. Each corner has a turnbuckle and on the two sides there are two cam latches.
And here's a look at the inverted V rails and the V groove wheels. It's time to roll off this roof and see what that looks like. We have to disconnect the latches. And then here are a few views looking east, west, south, and north from within the observatory. And it's time to close the roof and see what that looks like. Well, I'm really getting excited seeing the progress on the second floor observatory, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video series as well. I'm looking forward to getting able to use the observatory. Of course, there are a few, you know, steps left. Um, I'll have to install the sky shed pier on top of the concrete pier, and I'm going to do a follow-up video on that. It's not a real complicated thing, but there are a few steps involved. And then, of course, there'll be some logistical things about setting up equipment in the room and tables and stuff like that. But I probably will do like a first light video on an imaging session from the observatory once I get all those things uh, completed. So if you enjoy videos on amateur astronomy or amateur astrophotography, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Hopefully there might be some video that be relevant to something you're doing or on one of the topics. It's something you have valuable experience on and you could post comments that would help others who are also kind of coming along learning this hobby. So I'm wishing you clear skies.
So earlier in this series, uh, one of the things that I raised was, is this crazy project going to break Amish? Or in other words, these guys, they're going to lose their cool. They're going to get frustrated and, and not act the way they always do because they're very calm. They're very composed. You know, they're very focused on their work. They're very productive and do good work. And what I found was... No, this project didn't really phase them. And they did the same, you know, great work they always do. Never heard a cross word from them. They didn't get frustrated at me, even though I think it was a little challenging. And what I noticed was they seemed to make good progress. You know, they fought a little bit with the weather. I'm sure they had other projects going on at the same time. But I asked Robert, the owner of Graber Barnes, you know, was he eager to get out of here and get away from this crazy project. And in the end, he said, you know, really, he he found it was interesting. He enjoyed it. And he, he thought it was a good challenge for him. So what I wondered about never happened. Those guys just kept right on trucking, just like they always do, did great work and finished the project. I was very happy with the outcome.